Hi, thanks for joining us. My name is Dr. Ilya Skolnikov. We're doing this amazing Try to Health video called How to Lose Weight by Eating More video. Yes, you can lose weight by eating more. You have to eat the right kinds of foods, mainly two foods, meats and veggies. Green leafy veggies that look like this. They look green. Everything has to be organic. It has to be organic. Everything is organic. I'm organic. The green parsley is organic. And come here, Amorcita. Amorcita, who's wearing green, she's organic. And we brought Amorcita Yvette Skolnikov all the way from Honduras just to show you guys, just to teach you how to make chimichurri. A la catracha. A la catracha. That means from, the, from Honduras. Okay, so that's that. Here's some beef. This beef was cooked um, rare or medium rare. Actually, I think we might have cooked a little bit too much, but don't tell anyone. Um, so we have ground beef. It's 100% uh, it's organic ground beef. Everything's 100% organic. And then we have ribeye. And then you just, we put some garlic on it. The garlic was organic too, you know? Yeah. So she's chopping up the, the broccoli. I mean, I'm sorry, she's chopping up the parsley. Let me show you guys something. This is broccoli. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Broccoli. And then I can focus in on Yvette Eskolnikov here for you y'alls. You guys have ever have you ever seen the Jaws movies? Well, this is like like one of those Jaws movies. Dun 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 dun. To have a great sulfation pathway through the liver, which is the one of the main detoxification pathways in the liver, that will rid you of any of the causes of heart disease which basically comes from homocysteine rising, then you're gonna need sulfur. So the parsley has sulfur in it, a lot of parsley. Can you grab some garlic over there, that un uncut garlic? Just put it in your hand. The garlic has tons of sulfur in it. It's a sulfur compound and garlic is especially good. That's my hand, the one that points with the finger. Garlic is especially good because it uh, has allicins in it which are basically antifungal, antibacterial, antiparasitic, and antiviral, and, uh, and, and antisocial. <laughs> that was a knee slapper. Hold on. There's my knee. Okay, okay. So, all right, all right. What else? So the beef is a sulfur. Contain high, high, high levels of sulfur are found in beef. You could call that sulfur... Well, what, what should we call it? Let's call it um, N-acetylcysteine, or you could call it N-acetylcysteine, if you like to say that. And N-acetylcysteine is naturally found in beef. We also have the largest levels of methionine of almost any food would be found in the, the cows, um, liver, beef, um, mainly, okay? And methionine really helps to stabilize blood sugar. And it's not, it's not, it's, it's gonna lower homocysteine levels um, if you don't have it in too large of a concentration without the other proteins combined with it. So uh, isn't that wonderful? Oh, look, that's wonderful too. And oh, by the way, if you didn't notice before, look at that beautiful tile there in the background. You see that? That is nice. Ooh, more. So one person could eat half of that food, half of that beef, just to like give you an idea of how much beef there is there. That's the size of my hand. So you wanna eat as much food as fits in your palm and fingers for each meal. And if you're really trying to lose weight, let's say you weigh, let's say you wanna weigh 150 pounds, but you weigh 250 pounds, then you wanna have as much protein as fits in your palm and fingers almost five times per day because you're really overweight. I'm not putting you down. I mean. It, of course you don't feel bad about this because you're not talking to me directly, you're just watching a video. The whole point that I'm getting at is that in order to lose that much weight, you're gonna have to do something drastic. You're gonna have to make some changes, of course, and we're going over those changes and what those changes are. So this isn't a wonderful video. Oh, oh my God, look at this. Oh, oh, wait, 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 let me like hone in on this real quick. Uh, Marcita, go, this is organic first cold pressed olive oil, straight from Tahiti. Okay, they shipped it from Greece, 
to Tahiti, and then they put this effervescent liquid in the in the olive oil. That's true. That's true. That's so, true. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and then I bought it at a at a special uh, shop, a very high <laughs> high uh, high rate rated uh, uh, supermarket market. Okay. It's called Costco. <laughs> Costco is the name of the market. Okay. Okay. Because I don't know if you guys noticed, but a lot of the things that you get at Costco cost less money. Okay, let's do a little smile for Mama Rosita. Oh, that's a wonderful smile. See, that okay. if you eat the right kind of food, it helps you to get that kind of smile. <laughs> that's true, Yvette. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's not, Thank you. it's not just a compliment, it's the fact. So we want everybody to have healthy, happy smiles like Amarsita Yvette. Eskolnikov. Okay, what else can we share about the the food? That was that was the main thing that we were trying to share with you guys. Um, that was today's cooking for you know we're doing our beef with vegetables. Okay. Oh, so and you, you can put in this this. How can you use the the chimichurri? Explain that. She's explaining how to use the chimichurri. Okay. <laughs> Once you make the chimichurri, you put the chimichurri, which is basically just the olive oil and the garlic and the um, parsley. parsley, you can put it on meat. So for instance, you could put it on the beef, just in case you forgot what the beef looks like. That's the beef there. And you could put it on lamb, you could put it on chicken. Personally, I really like it on chicken. I'm not sure why I like it so much on chicken, but... He likes just, it on... You like it on the avocado? Please. Oh my Gandhi! <laughs> it tastes really good on avocados. Here we got some avocados. Just in case you thought we were making this up, we got organic avocados. That O oh, that means it comes from Oklahoma. No, I'm just kidding. That means <laughs> it's organic, okay? And it came from a place where all the food has very high quality. Uh, is a very high quality. It's the best food on the planet. And it's the safest. It's called Safe Way. That's an excellent food. It's okay. <laughs> you know, the best organic food would be from the farmer's markets where you can meet the farmer who made the food. So actually, Safe Way wouldn't be the best food, but I just, you know, can't tell you something that's not completely true. Some are organic and some of them are not. So you have to ask the farmers and see if they have an organic certification and that should really help. So thank you so much for coming out to this um, this video where we are discussing how to lose weight by eating more, by eating five meals per day with about as much as fits in your palm and fingers. And that's all you would eat. That's actually not a joke. You wouldn't eat like any potatoes or, you know, you wouldn't eat a whole lot of um, cauliflower. You wouldn't eat a whole lot of... Um, fruits, like you'd avoid peaches, plums, prunes, apricots, pears, mangoes, um, you'd avoid butternut squash, you'd avoid spaghetti squash, squash, you'd avoid turnips, you'd avoid kohlrabi, you'd avoid sweet potatoes, you'd avoid wild yams, you'd avoid um, the Brussels sprouts, I just mentioned the eggplant twice, I mentioned the cauliflower at least once, so those are things you'd want to avoid. Anything else? Carrots, you could have a little bit of carrots every now and then, but carrots have a lot of sugar too. It's just that your body seems to benefit from a little carrots every now and then just because they're so high and dense in nutrients and they have a fair amount of fiber. But still, you wouldn't want to have any juices if you're trying to really stabilize your blood sugar and avoid too many poisons and toxins. In one of our other videos, we talk about the problems with the phytates and the huge uh, rush of either um, foods that are too alkaline or too acidic that can then irritate a person who already has a fungal infection and make it worse or is trying to get rid of, get rid of a fungal infection then the fungal infection doesn't go away uh, completely so that wouldn't be so good all right so yeah that was that was hopefully that was helpful and uh, we'll see you next time thank you so much and stay tuned for the next episode don't don't there's the chimichurri Mmm, there's the beef. There's Amorcita eating.